zaidi swali is asking for question ah uh, mwalimu ametufundisha kwamba wakati fulani kuna dhambi ambazo hata ukia ukiungama zitakuwa ndama eh uh, our teacher has told us that there are some sins even if you repent they'll have some consequences ah uh, kuna mama mmoja mahali there is a mother somewhere she's not in our midst ali ali grab mme wa mwenzake okay she took the husband of the other mother Say it again. Talk to a husband of yeah, yeah, is like she has an affair. Yes, yes. yes. another man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kwa hivyo haya maombi ni kama yalifikia yule mwanamke. He believes the prayer reached that woman who had an affair with the husband. Kwa hivyo siku moja akampigia yule mwanamke simu ya kwamba mwenzangu na, na, naomba unisamee mimi ndio nilikuwa nimechukua mume wako. This was that in an affair when the woman of this husband prayed that wife that had uh, an affair with the husband ran to this woman asking for forgiveness that I have taken your husband. Na akamwambia bwana arudi kwako. And this woman told the husband go back to your wife. So, nina jaribu kuuliza huyu mwanamke atasamehewa ama hatasamehewa? The question is will this woman who told the husband to go back to the wife and asked the wife of that husband to forgive her will she be forgiven by god or okay as i said when a person repents and also turn away from the sin god always forgives vile nilivyo sema ya kwamba mtu anaporudia mungu na yeyekena tu but there are siku mungu usamehe but there are bad consequences of this what 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 happened lakini hata kama Mungu atakusamehe kuna matokeo ya uharibifu ambao utayapata. This will leave a bad mark on the person's life. Hiyo kitu utakapoangalia itawacha mwanya ama pengo fulani kwa maisha ya yule mpendwa aliyefanyia mwanzake vibaya. So it will be hard for this woman to enter any kind of ministry because of the of the history. Iliumiza huyu mama kuingia katika utuma ambaye hakuwa akiwa ndani na alikuwa ameumia tiari na sasa inakuwa ni kumbukumbu and also it is hard to the guilt from her heart na tena ni vigumu sana kutoa ile chuki ndani mwa ya moyo wa huyo mama although we should believe in jesus that he really forgives lakini tuamini ya kwamba yesu kristo husamehe But this, but this memory of the sin will come back to her again and again. Lakini shida ile kumbukumbu ya hiyo dhambi ya yule mama kuchukua mume wa mwenzake ilibakia ndani ya huyo mama maisha ni mwake. Okay. So she can be forgiven but just the consequences. Ndio utasamehewa lakini matokeo yatakuwa ni majuto. And more serious is have more, more serious consequences. Na kutatokea hapa hata ni shida kubwa sana katika maisha yako. The sooner we stop the sin the less the consequences. Wakati tunaposimamisha dhambi sasa uharibifu unakuwa chache ama malipo. Okay. Now I want to say one more point. For many people it's very hard to forgive the reason is because the person has taken something away from him or her. Ni sababu ya watu wengi kutosamee ni kwa sababu wale waliowakosea wamechukua vitu kutoka kwao. For instance, the husband has you know taken the money and also have another woman and run away and then the wife would say, "Well, I've lost a lot of things because of the husband." Mfano mm -hmm. yule mama alimfanyia yule baba dawa na akauza shamba akachukua ngombe zake akauza akabeba pesa yote akaenda nayo na baba akawaje watoto na mama wakiwa wanateseka hiyo haiwezi toka ndani ya moyo wa huyo mama and the woman would find hard to forgive 
Huyo mama itakuwa ngumu sana kukusamea hata kama utamuomba msamaha. What I want to say is according to the Bible kila nataka kusema kulingana na Biblia. When we seek first the kingdom of God is righteousness and all these things will be added to us. Tukitafuta kwanza ufalme wa mbinguni na hizo vitu zingine zitatufata. God can give back to us what we have lost. Mungu anaweza kutupa vile tulizopotesa tukiwa na uhusiano mzuri na Mungu. When we follow God, tunapomfata Mungu. And the more we are angry, the more we will lose. Lakini tunapokuwa na hasira ndipo tunapoteza sana. But the more we trust in God, he will give it back to me, the less we will lose. Lakini tunapomwamini Mungu kabisa ndipo tunapokea sana na tunapoteza vichache. I use an illustration of a pastor, someone has stolen some members from his church. Amepeana mfano ya mchungaji ambaye yeye amechukua mwamini kutoka kwa kanisa lingine na akaleta kwa kanisa lake. Okay, this is another pastor who stole some members. Huyo ni mchungaji ambaye amechukua mwamini anaiba washirika. Anaiba washirika. And then this pastor would have a tendency to say I dislike him or even I want to curse him. Na hata yule mchungaji ambaye ameibiwa washirika anasema simpendi na hata sia. Namchukia. Namchukia. But the more we hate him or curse him, the more curses will come to us. But we say, well, God will give it back to me. It's okay. He has to face God. I, I don't want to be responsible for his sins. But even if I lose some members, it doesn't matter. God can do it. Or even, or even in a very serious situation. A person, a pastor, loses his position or ministry because of some lies of them people. And okay. Now, if this pastor stays in anger every time he talks us talks about it, he will have a lot of anger. This person stole my ministry. Sasa wewe utakapobakia oh Martin umenyang'anya huduma yangu na na cheo changu ukipata katika hiyo hasira wewe mwenyewe unateseka The more he talks like that the less the people will trust him mm. Ah napoongea hivyo na pia watu wachache sana watakao muamini But if he can just explain what happened peacefully lakini kama kuna shida na uwe na utaratibu mzuri katika hekima ya maarifa na kuongea watu watakuwa na mtu wa busara mpenzi. And trust that God can give it back to him whether this ministry or some other ministry if he is a good pastor he will get it back from God. Kenda katika mpangilio ule Mungu naye atakuhudumia na atakurudishia waamini wale na atakubariki pia utakuwa tisho kwa wachungaji wake. But time people will find out that he's a good pastor. Or maybe this church is not suitable for him. God will open another place for him. Ah, pingine hi kanisa sio sawa kwa e mungu atafungua kanisa lingine mara pingine. The main thing is we believe that God has everything in His hand. He can give it, give anything back to us. Chote ambacho unataka kuamini kwamba unapopoteza kila kitu kiko mikononi mwa Mungu na Mungu anaweza kutendea chochote na kubariki na tena kubariki kwa utende. Okay. Now, but many people say that's not fair. Ah, wengine wetu tunasema hiyo sio sawa bwana. They say my anger is too big. Ah, sira yangu imepanda sana ikupata nda kumaliza bwana. I cannot let go. Then we are sinning after this person. This person sinned first, and then I sin because I I cannot manage my anger. So to be able to trust in God and relax in God is something for us to learn. Kwa hivyo mkuu na hile nafasi ya kumamini mungu na kumpenda mungu na kumamini mungu inakuwa ni vizuri katika maisha yetu. Okay. Now I encourage each one of us to look at our lives and handle each of the sins in our life. Kwa hivyo na imiza kila mwenye wetu 
kwa upole unapokalia pale wewe unajichunguza zile dhambi ambazo zinakutawala and do you have any questions je kuna swali dunia ni nguvu niko na swali kwamba ni njia gani ambayo ni mwafaka katika kusama kwa sababu is asking which way is the right way of you know forgiving someone yes kwa sababu ninapokosea mtu kwa mfano kuna mtu alishiriki kwa kumauaji mali okay oh he saying this i've wronged this brother how do i approach him so that he can forgive me so he will forgive us for the poor person to who hurt us to forgive us yes i know uh, i've had that brother okay. and now i want to approach him to forgive me which way do i use Nilaenda kumuomba msamaha ama nienda tu mbele za Mungu na nitakuwa nimepokea. Does he go to the brother or he just goes before the Lord and ask for forgiveness? If we have hurt someone then we go to the person and apologize and we all go to God at the same time too. <laughs> okay. Uliye. Uliye. Ikiwa umemkosea yani umemkosea mtu wewe unamwendea. Kumuomba msamaha pia kwa kwa Mungu msamaha. Nyama. Eh? If we are not willing to go to the person to ask for forgiveness, I would say this anger will easily stay in this person for a long time. Okay. Ikiwa hautamwelea huyo mpendwa, hii dhambi itaendelea kukaa ndani yako katika maisha yako ama kwa muda mrefu. So I answer your question. Hapo ispeke hapo kutuma hapa msaba niko na zawadi. Bea bea to ask for your forgiveness. Naweza kuwa pengine nimekukozea na pengine roho yako ni ngumu kusamea mtu. Na nimekuja hapo na wewe mkali nikija kuomba msaba lazima tena tutakombana. Eh I've wronged him and his heart is so stiff. And even if I go there to ask for forgiveness he will not accept how will i reach that person okay well the way just keep doing it keep being kind to him and keep asking for forgiveness eh jaribu sana kumsongea na pia jaribu kuendelea kuomba kuomba msamaha and sometimes we can ask the help of a pastor to reconcile the relationship sasa singine tunaweza kutumia wachungaji wetu ili tuelekeze tuende kwa yule mtu ambaye tumemtenda dhambi. We need to realize that a relationship that has been hurt is hard to reconcile. Tuelewe ya kwamba chochote ambacho kimeudhi mtu ama umemuumiza sana umemfanyia umemfanyia dhambi umemkosea ukusamee sio jambo rahisi. So we need to take extra action. Nahitaji tuchukue muda ili upate kupata ile msamaha. The best is to be always nice to people, kind to people even if they are not nice. Then we prevent any conflicts. Jambo nzuri ni kubadilisha tabia yako kuwa mzuri kwa hao watu, kuwafurahia na hapo pengine wao marafiki zetu. Yes, one of you. Amen. So jambo ni kwamba my question is, unasema kuwa mtu anaenda Uh, pate mwingine kwa kati yake na mtoa kuti huku midani na kama anaweza kuja kama hii congregation he says if somebody uh, a pastor steals a member from other other church that's sin okay na kama anaweza kuja kama hii congregation and after all and these people worship well than uh, the other church he, he worships alafu akuti hiyo dhambi inaweka kwa ni dhambi ama sio dhambi na kama ni dhambi huyu siku kare that sin number 2 there are some members who will visit our our service Sunday services or any revival meeting and then they are moved they are pulled they love that the way we worship and the member decides to be one of our member who will be responsible for that scene you mean he came to lead worship and then 
some of the church members decided to follow him, right? No, he comes for no. the way we are here. Okay. So we are doing teaching. <laughs> and they, we have people who have come to attend. Yes. And then they realize they are, they are at the right place. Yes. They decide now they want to be members. Okay. They have not been stolen, but they have decided themselves. They came automatically. Yes. Okay. Number two. Uh, ministry and So wow, the pastor ama bishop Okay, when there is a difference, for example, we are in one ministry, the way we are ministering, and then I feel, no, I don't want to work with you. I decide to go and start a church there. Is that accepted before God? No, no, you've not, you've not, you've not brought that in. Let me really ask you like this. For example, we are in the same same church. And now in the same same church, there is a conflict. It comes now a division. Now one of the pastor or one of the church leaders, he says to go with other church members and they start another new church somewhere. Is that accepted before the Lord? Okay, okay. Yeah. Now the first question is, if someone from other churches came for me and then they decided to stay in this church. Ikiwa mpendwa alikuja kanisa limwenu na akasikiza mafundisho yako sawa na akaamua kukaa pale. Then is not stealing. Hiyo sio kuiba. But we should communicate with that pastor of that church. Kitu tunahitaji kuwasiliana na yule mchungaji ambaye mdogo ama dada ametoka. And tell him some of these people have come how do you want to handle it? Jay, unataka tufanye nini? So that it doesn't hurt the relationship. Ili isifunye ule usiana wetu. There are always some people who go from one church to another. Na watu ambao wanaenda kanisa kwa lingine kwa lingine. The best is that we can take this not so seriously. Naweza kuachukua kwa hatua. And but then in the process we want to handle it as as well as possible, in a peaceful way possible. Okay. Now the second question about a pastor working in a church and there are some conflicts and then he wants to leave the church. Okay. Now, it, it depends on the conflict. Now, if the conflict is purely personal, that they, you know, there's some conflict between the two pastors. Now, this first situation, now, uh, if they cannot resolve it, the pastor, of course, can leave. And if some people say, well, the pastor is leaving, I want to follow him. I want to say the members have the right to follow him. But the, but the pastor should not tell people to follow him. If some people follow him, he should... He should communicate with the first church. These people are following me. How do you want to handle it? Now, okay. now the second situation is if this church really has something very wrong. For instance, they are living in sin. The pastor or the leaders are living in sin. And then the person, the pastor says, well, this is not the right church and I want to leave. Now, Chungaji anasema, hii siyo kanisa nzuri, nataka ni wache. Now in that situation, there might be many people who say this church has problem and they want to leave the church. But they have a reason because the church has problem, therefore they want to leave. 
wana wa, eh, wana wana sababu na wanaona kweli hiyo sababu ni lazima watoke ili wawe na amani but he still should handle it the same way that he was still communicating with the first church lakini pia wewe mchungaji ni vizuri uwasiliane na kanisa lile ulilotoka ndani hawapendwa wanataka kuja mali niko but um at the same time he should also communicate about the problem in the church and to, to try to guide the church to a way of repentance na kabla hata hujatoka wewe mchungaji ni vizuri hiyo sababu inayofanya unataka utoke pia uelekeze wapendwa ama washirika watubu na wewe pia utubu but he should handle it before he leave lakini ufanye kabla haujakanyaga mguu nje so when he discussed with the leaders about why he wants to leave that he can communicate that i see this problem kwa hivyo haitakuwa kitu ya siri ya kipekee nitahusisha viongozi wa kanisa ili wapate kuelewa hii ndio sababu inanifanya ninatoka but we still want to live in a way in a, a peaceful way lakini tunataka tuishi maisha ambayo ni ya amani ya upendo ya kushirikiana mwili wa Kristo Any more question? Yes. Come come yeah. up. If you have a question, come yeah. ahead and yeah. come on the side finish. Yeah. Come, come to the front. Come to the front and wait. Those are there are seats there. You can sit there and wait for your turn. Sasa langu ni Sasa umesema ati ukikosea mtu na muendea unamwomba msamaha uombe Mungu msamaha. Maybe sasa wewe mtu nilimkosea. Alafu kifo inatoka from noya anaweza kufa usiku kabla hajagojeka okay she says this you have wronged somebody you have said you go and ask for forgiveness but unfortunately this person you have not asked for forgiveness she dies before you reconcile asa naweza enda omba maiti msamaha ndio tena niombe Mungu msamaha ama nitakuaje how will she run that case <laughs> when a person is dying we can only ask for, for, for forgiveness from god kiwa kwa bahati mbaya huyo mpendo atakuwa ametoka katikati yetu basi tutamuuliza mungu msamaha so also let the net go na tusiruhusu yele muda mrefu at the same time we say if something like this happen again i'm going to be careful not to hurt pia itakuwa fundisho kwetu ikiwa utakuwa umekosana na mwenzako ni vizuri muombe msamaha haraka haraka you are one person ngine just come quickly if you have questions sit over there roba neli rewe galambera no jama tendo ni no neli yes bwana yesu asifiwe amen swali langu ni hivi question Eh let's say I'm a pastor and I I find my life under pressure in a church. Okay, mimi ni mchungaji na ninafinyiliwa katika kanisa lile na hudumu ndani. Sheria zinakuwa kali. And because of the ill feeling in my heart, lakini katika ule undani wa kiroho ndani mwangu, I cough out a cursing word to the church. Nina laani hiyo kanisa. <laughs> in case of the ill feeling in my heart yeah, of that pain i feel oh, because of the pressure okay. okay. i give the cursing words to the church <laughs> can it affect the church <laughs> and, and if it affects the church How can we do away with it? Na kama itadhuru kanisa, tunaweza kufanya nini? Bill, sir. You mean because of the anger cursed the church, yes. right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Now, first I want to say that if we have any negative feelings toward a church, we need to handle this feelings. Kiwa tuna wazo la uchungu vibaya, tunahitaji kuhudumia hii hali. If we have faults we should ask for forgiveness from people and from the church from God. Ikiwa tumekosea tunahitaji kuuliza Mungu msamaha na tuulize wapendwa msamaha. If it's a church that has problem and I have the anger I also need to let go and say I don't have to be angry because of them. Ikiwa kanisa lile litakuwa na makosa 
sistahili kuwa na ule uchungu na kulaani bali nitakuwa katika hali ya kuwasamehe now according to the bible there is no reason for us to stay angry kulingana na biblia hakuna nafasi unayopatiwa kuwa na hasira even if it is their fault we should not get angry hata kama ni makosa hawahitajiki kuwa na hasira dada yangu ndugu yangu so every day when we pray kila wakati tunapoomba we'll say lord i have sinned against you many times mwambie mungu mara nyingi nimetenda dhambi mbele zako and you have forgiven me many times au umenisamehe mara nyingi these people have sinned against me not so many times but i cannot forgive them how watu wametenda dhambi si kwa mara nyingi lakini siwezi kuwasamehe please help me to have compassion on them tafadhali mungu nisaidie niwasamehe and forgive them ili nipate kuwasamehe now if the person cannot forgive us curse the church ikiwa hautasamehe na kulaani kanisa If the church stay for the relationship to God the curse is not going to damage the church. Ha. Ikiwa hawapendwa watakuwa na uhusiano mzuri na wanatubu mbele za Mungu. Ndugu yangu dada yangu laana yako haitashika yote. When we seek first the kingdom of God no one can hurt us. Na kutafuta kwanza ufalme wa mbinguni na tutafuta kwanza ufalme wa mbinguni na haki yake hakuna kitu kitakachozunguru ndugu na dada zetu. Okay? But then, at the same time we we'll say this. Now, wait, wait, wait. Now, Peter says to my wife that when we did curse the church, we should go and ask for forgiveness. Tusilani kanisa bali tuende tuombe msamaha. Now, I want to say our curses are not like the curses of the witches. Ah, laana zetu sio kama za laana za warogi na wachawi. It, you know it's just an expression of our anger hiyo ni hali tu ya hasira ndugu yangu dadao it's not going to hurt someone haita mduru ndugu wa dadao because you know god is not going to take our curses and bring it to the person of the church or you are mungu hawezi ruhusu hiyo laana au laani kanisa lake actually our curses will hurt ourselves dadao kuambia hiyo laana unaitoa itakudhuru tu wewe mwenyewe